A great many people solve all their dilemmas and problems by the play of their control, directed, and disciplined imagination. Knowing that whatever they imagine and feel as true will and must come to pass. The following will clearly illustrate how a young girl overcame the her desire and her imagination. She desired a harmonious solution to her legal problem, yet her mental imagery was constantly on failure, loss, bankruptcy, and poverty. It was a complicated lawsuit and there was no postponement after another, with no solution in sight. At my suggestion, she got into a sleepy, drowsy state each night prior to sleep, and she began to imagine the happy ending, feeling it too the best of her ability. She knew that the image in her mind had to agree with her heart's desire. Prior to sleep she began to dramatize as vividly as possible her lawyer having an animated discussion with her. Regarding the outcome, she would ask him questions, and he would answer her appropriately. He would say to her over and over again, there has been a perfect, harmonious solution. The case has been settled out of court. During the day when fear thoughts came into her mind, she would run her mental movie with gestures, voice, and sound equipment. She could easily imagine the sound of his voice, smile, and manners. She ran this mental picture so often, it became a subjective pattern, a regular train track. At the end of a few weeks, her attorney called her and confirmed objectively what she had been imagining and feeling as true subjectively. This is really what the psalmist meant when he wrote, Let the words of my mouth, your thoughts, mental images, good, and the meditations of my heart, your feeling, nature, emotion, be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, the law of your subconscious mind, my strength, and my Redeemer, the power and wisdom of your subconscious mind can redeem you from sickness, bondage, and misery. Psalm 1914 100 ideas worth recalling. 1. Mental coercion or too much effort shows anxiety and fear, which block your answer. Easy does it. 2. When your mind is relaxed and you accept an idea, your subconscious goes to work to execute the idea. 3. Think and plan independently of traditional methods. Know that there is always an answer and a solution to every problem. 4. Do not be overly concerned with the beating of your heart, with the breathing of your lungs, or the functions of any part of your anatomy. Lean heavily upon your subconscious and proclaim frequently that divine right action is taking place. 5. The feeling of health produces health, the feeling of wealth produces wealth. How do you feel? 6. Imagination is your most powerful faculty. Imagine what is lovely and of good report. You are what you imagine yourself to be. 7. You avoid conflict between your conscious and subconscious and the sleepy state. Imagine the fulfillment of your desire over and over again prior to sleep. Sleep in peace and wake in joy. 101. 9. How to use the power of your subconscious for wealth. If you are having financial difficulties, if you are trying to make ends meet, it means you have not convinced your subconscious mind that you will always have plenty and some to spare. You know men and women who work a few hours a week and make fabulous sums of money. They do not strive or slave hard. Do not believe the story that the only way you can become wealthy is by the sweat of your brow and hard labor. It is not so, the effortless way of life is the best. Do the thing you love to do and do it for the joy and thrill of it. I know an executive in Los Angeles who receives a salary of $75,000 yearly. Last year he went on a nine-month cruise seeing the world and its beauty spots. He said to me that he had succeeded in convincing his subconscious mind that he is worth that much money. He told me that many men in his organization getting about $100 a week knew more about the business than he did, and could manage it better, but they had no ambition, no creative ideas, and were not interested in the wonders of their subconscious mind. Wealth is of the mind. Wealth is simply a subconscious conviction on the part of the individual. 
you will not become a millionaire by saying, I am a millionaire. I am a millionaire. You will grow into a wealth consciousness by building into your mentality the idea of wealth and abundance. Your invisible means of support. The trouble with most people is that they have no invisible means of support. When business falls away, the stock market drops, or they lose their investments, they seem helpless. The reason for such 102. Insecurity is that they do not know how to tap the subconscious mind. They are unacquainted with the inexhaustible storehouse within. A man with a poverty-type mind finds himself in poverty-stricken conditions. Another man with a mind filled with ideas of wealth is surrounded with everything he needs. It was never intended that man should lead a life of indigence. You can have wealth, everything you need, and plenty to spare. Your words have power to cleanse your mind of wrong ideas and to instill right ideas in their place. The ideal method for building a wealth consciousness. Perhaps you are saying as you read this chapter, I need wealth and success. This is what you do, repeat for about 5 minutes to yourself 3 or 4 times a day. Wealth, success. These words have tremendous power. They represent the inner power of the subconscious mind. Anchor your mind on this substantial power within you, then conditions and circumstances corresponding to their nature and quality will be manifested in your life. You are not saying, I am wealthy, you are dwelling on real powers within you. There is no conflict in the mind when you say, wealth. Furthermore, the feeling of wealth will well up within you as you dwell on the idea of wealth. The feeling of wealth produces wealth, keep this in mind at all times. Your subconscious mind is like a bank, a sort of universal financial institution. It magnifies whatever you deposit or impress upon it, whether it is the idea of wealth or of poverty. Choose wealth. Why your affirmations for wealth fail? I have talked to many people during the past 35 years whose usual complaint is, I have said for weeks and months, I am wealthy, I am prosperous, and nothing has happened. I discovered that when they said, I am prosperous, I am wealthy, they felt within that they were lying to themselves. One man told me, I have affirmed that I am prosperous until I am tired. Things are now worse. I knew when I made the statement that it 103 was obviously not true. His statements were rejected by the conscious mind, and the very opposite of what Yahweh confirmed and claimed was made manifest. Your affirmation succeeds best when it is specific and when it does not produce a mental conflict or argument. Hence, the statements made by this man made matters worse because they suggested the flat. Your subconscious accepts what you really feel to be true, not just idle words or statements. The dominant idea or belief is always accepted by the subconscious mind. How to avoid mental conflict. The following is the ideal way to overcome this conflict for those who have this difficulty. Make this practical statement frequently, particularly prior to sleep, by day and by night I am being prospered. In all of my interests, this affirmation will not arouse any argument because it does not contradict your subconscious mind's impression of financial lack. I suggested to one businessman whose sales and finances were very low and he was greatly worried that he sit down in his office, become quiet, and repeat this statement over and over again. My sales are improving every day. This statement engaged the cooperation of the conscious and subconscious mind. Results follow. Don't sign blank checks. You sign blank checks when you make such statements as, there is not enough to go around, there is a shortage, I will lose the house because of the mortgage, etc. If you are full of fear about the future, you are also writing a blank check and attracting negative conditions to you. Your subconscious mind takes your fear and negative statement as your request and proceeds in its own way to bring obstacles, delays, lack, and limitation into your life. Your subconscious gives you compound interest. To him that hath the feeling of wealth, more wealth shall be added. To him that hath the feeling of lack, more lack shall be added. Your 
104. Subconscious multiplies and magnifies whatever you deposit in it. Every morning as you awaken deposit thoughts of prosperity, success, wealth, and peace. Dwell upon these concepts. Busy your mind with them as often as possible. These constructive thoughts will find their way as deposits in your subconscious mind, and bring forth abundance and prosperity. Why nothing happened? I can hear you saying, oh, I did that and nothing happened. You did not get results because you indulged in fear thoughts perhaps 10 minutes later and neutralized the good you had affirmed. When you place a seed in the ground, you do not dig it up. You let it take root and grow. Suppose, for example, you are going to say, I shall not be able to make that payment. Before you get further than, I shall stop the sentence and dwell on a constructive statement, such as, by day and by night I am prospered in all my ways. True source of wealth. Your subconscious mind is never short of ideas. There are within it an infinite number of ideas ready to flow into your conscious mind and appear as cash in your pocketbook in countless ways. This process will continue to go on in your mind regardless of whether the stock market goes up or down, or whether the pound sterling or dollar drops in value. Your wealth is never truly dependent on bonds, stocks, or money in the bank. These are really only symbols necessary and useful, of course, but only symbols. The point I wish to emphasize is that if you convince your subconscious mind that wealth is yours, and that it is always circulating in your life, you will always and inevitably have it, regardless of the form it takes. Trying to make ends meet and the real cause. There are people who claim that they are always trying to make ends meet. They seem to have a great struggle to meet their 105 obligations. Have you listened to their conversation? In many instances their conversation runs along this vein. They are constantly condemning those who have succeeded in life and who have raised their heads above the crowd. Perhaps they are saying, oh, that fellow has a racket, he is ruthless, he is a crook. This is why they lack, they are condemning the thing they desire and want. The reason they speak critically of their more prosperous associates is because they are envious and covetous of the other's prosperity. The quickest way to cause wealth to take wings and fly away is to criticize and condemn others who have more wealth than you. A common stumbling block to wealth. There is one emotion, which is the cause of the lack of wealth in the lives of many. Most people learn this the hard way. It is envy. 4. Example, if you see a competitor depositing large sums of money in the bank, and you have only a meager amount to deposit, does it make you envious? The way to overcome this emotion is to say to yourself, Isn't it wonderful? I rejoice in that man's prosperity. I wish for him greater and greater wealth. To entertain envious thoughts is devastating because it will put you in a very negative position. Therefore, wealth flows from you instead of to you. If you are ever annoyed or irritated by the prosperity or great wealth of another, claim immediately that you truly wish for him. Greater wealth in every possible way. This will neutralize the negative thoughts in your mind and cause an ever greater measure of wealth to flow to you by the law of your own subconscious mind. Rubbing out a great mental block to wealth. If you are worried and critical about someone whom you claim is making money dishonestly, cease worrying about him. You know, such a person is using the law of mind negatively. The law of mind takes care of him. Be careful not to criticize him for the reasons previously indicated. 106. Remember, the block or obstacle to wealth is in your own mind. You can now destroy the mental block, as you may do by getting mental good terms with everyone. Sleep and grow rich. As you go to sleep at night, practice the following technique. Repeat the word, wealth, quietly, easily, and feeling. Do this over and over again, just like a lullaby. Lull yourself to sleep with the one. Word, wealth. You should be amazed at the results. Wealth should flow to
example of the magic power of your subconscious mind. Serve yourself with the powers of your mind. 1. Decide to be wealthy the easy way, with the infallible aid of your subconscious mind. 2. Trying to accumulate wealth by the sweat of your brow and hard labor is one way to become the richest man in the graveyard. You do not have to strive or slave hard. 3. Wealth is a subconscious conviction. Build into your mentality the idea of wealth. 4. The trouble with most people is that they have no invisible means of support. 5. Repeat the word, wealth, to yourself slowly and quietly for about 5 minutes prior to sleep and your subconscious will bring wealth to pass in your experience. 6. The feeling of wealth produces wealth. Keep this in mind at all times. 7. Your conscious and subconscious mind must agree. Your subconscious accepts what you really feel to be true. The dominant idea is always accepted by your subconscious mind. The dominant idea should be wealth, not poverty. 107. 8. You can overcome any mental conflict regarding wealth by affirming frequently, by day and by night I am being pros per diem. All of my interests. 9. Increase your sales by repeating this statement over and over. Again, my sales are improving every day, I am advancing, progressing, and getting wealthier every day. 10. Stop writing blank checks, such as, there is not enough to go around, or there is a shortage, etc. Such statements magnify and multiply your loss. 11. Deposit thoughts of prosperity, wealth, and success in your subconscious mind, and the latter will give you compound interest. 12. What you consciously affirm, you must not mentally deny a few moments later. This will neutralize the good you have affirmed. 13. Your true source of wealth consists of the ideas in your mind. You can have an idea worth millions of dollars. Your subconscious will give you the idea you seek. 14. Envy and jealousy are stumbling blocks to the flow of wealth. Rejoice in the prosperity of others. 15. The block to wealth is in your own mind. Destroy that block. Now by getting on good mental terms with everyone. 